Welcome back to Wasteland 2. Before the beginning of this episode, I went ahead and disarmed all of these landmines. Took a little while, but uh, got Yulia a level in the process. So we return once again to south of the Rail Nomads camp. Where for some reason there's a bunch of mines, and I believe somebody yelled at me saying that I don't have the damn... Whatever the name of that special armor was. I think it started with a V. I don't remember what it's called. So, something's going on here. Let's go ahead and get Yulia's level up. Copy, Echo One. Report again, blah, 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 thank you, goodbye. Hmm. Demolitions or shotgun? You know, I was thinking of giving Yulia the energy weapon skill. I kinda want to. I kind of really want to. I mean, her shotgun skill and demolition skills are already quite high. You know, she's one of the least specialized characters that I have. And her shotgun does have quite a few situations where it's just not really useful at all. I don't know. I mean, Harper has way too... I mean, he already has... His skill points are spread out too thin for me to justify adding another one. Same with Helen. She's got three main skills. He's got three main skills. You have, I think, maybe four main skills, so yeah, I can't give it to you. So yeah, if anyone's going to get a new skill, it would have to be Yulia. And somebody told me that there's not very many characters that you can recruit to your party that have the energy weapon skill. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do it. There we go. Okay, now I have to look and see what energy weapons I actually have. Uh, yeah, well, what do I have? Pulse Rifle, sounds pretty cool. Herbicide, herbs. Just give all this stuff to Yulia, see what she thinks of it. Do, nope, 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 I think that's all I've got. Yeah, it looks like that's it, alright. <clears throat> Which one's better? I'm guessing the pulse rifle's better. Um, I'm not quite familiar with how energy weapons work. I believe... Uh, if I remember correctly, I think how it works is that if the energy weapon is below the armor threshold, as in, like, if somebody... Like, for this one, armor threshold 3. I think how it works is if they have an armor threshold, like, if, if the enemy you're shooting has an armor of 3, then, as it says, threshold damage multiplier... If you're at the threshold, 0 0.9 times damage. Which means it wouldn't do very good damage, but I believe that means... ...that... ...if their armor level is actually higher than the armor threshold, it does 2.2 times the damage? I think? Uh, apparently, energy weapons are very good at piercing through armor, so I think that's how it works, because that's the only way that makes any sense. Is that it actually does more damage, basically, the higher their armor. I think. Or something. I don't know. I guess I'll get used to it when I actually use it. Alright, the hit chance of both of these energy weapons are very poor. 59%. I'm not sure if that's just because it's probably affected by my energy weapon skill, right? 59%. Let's see what it looks like in Helen's hands. 26%. Okay, yeah, so it's just affected by the modifiers of the character that's looking at it. Oh, I think Yuli is actually overburdened. You're turning into a pack mule and close to encumbered status. Damn, she's actually the one with the highest strength, too. I suppose she does have, like, five weapons, including a rocket launcher that weighs 15 pounds. And a repeater unit that's six pounds. Fair enough. Anyway, which one's better? 13 to 17, 10 to 19, okay. Higher minimum, lower maximum. Smaller range, larger capacity. Armor threshold is higher, which is good, or is that bad? That's good, right? Or no, that's bad? I don't know, I'm confused. Oh, this thing takes way less AP, though, to shoot. Way less. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the pulse rifle. Okay, let's unburden her. 
There we go. Gotta give her the energy cells, which I've unfortunately probably sold most of them. Anyone else got some more? Okay. Looking good. Auto sort. Some sexy looking inventories. Oh my god, Angela's holding so many things. She's got floppy disks and human eyeballs and tennis balls and even a laser disc. <laughs> even a spent IV. Okay. Oh, look at how that energy weapon looks on her back. That is terrifying looking. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> like, a six foot tall woman with crazy spiked hair comes running at you with combat armor and what looks like some sort of a Tesla coil thing on her back. I would scream, I would scream and run in the other direction. I suppose I should make sure it's loaded, huh? Okay. Ooh. There was one more. Move in little, little bits. Slowly. Slow. Waste wolf. 60 hit points. Damn. We better heal up a little bit. Yeah, those mid packs really don't go far. Set up a nice firing line and get shooting. Already under pressure from one enemy. Uh. Damn. Um. Angela, I think you might have high blood pressure. I'm just saying, but that, that went pretty far. I should have tried to snipe the other enemies that were going to come after me. I kind of forgot about them. Ah, under pressure. I should probably move before I shoot. Alright, probably going to shoot one of my teammates in the back, but alright. Ooh, this is a perfect time for a shotgun. Yes! Why did that only hit one? Come on. Okay, do shotguns not work the way I think they do? Are they not capable of hitting multiple enemies? At the same time? Is that not how they work? I thought that's how they worked. Because if it's not how they work, then don't they kind of suck? I mean, I guess the advantage there would be that if you miss the first enemy, you have a chance to hit the second one. It's not much of an advantage, though. Huh. I'm finding them to be disappointing. This thing's got one hit point. Oh, 8 AP for the burst fire. All right. Ah. 
1% chance to hit. Get him! Little dog v big dog. That was a very interesting court case. Nice, couple levels up, which is gonna heal Helen. Copy, Echo One. Congratulations, Echo One. Okay, uh, with you, I guess I'm gonna save your points. Yeah, he's pretty damn good with assault rifles. Wow, I've already got him up to six. Yeah, let's go ahead and save your points. Well, I guess I'm gonna save yours too. Probably wanna do weaponsmithing next. Wanna load up these high capacity mags. With sections missing from the tower, this control panel isn't controlling much of anything at the moment. Get the tower functional and powered if you want to attach a repeater. Wait, I can actually attach a repeater to this thing? But I thought I was supposed to do that at DeMonta. America! Hmm. How would I get it functional? I can't just repair it, right? No. Alright, go slowly. Might be more mines. Have to be mindful. Ha. Huh. Ooh, somebody here. The Provost. It's probably the person that was talking to me. Before I go to him, let's... Whoa! Oh! Oh! Before I go to him, let's take a look around. Tons of easy XP here. Looks like there's two pathways that lead to the same place. Oh my god, there's so many! Okay, that's all of them. Hold on, what's over here? Secrets? Nope, there's nothing. Holding Z, looking for any interactable items that might be stuck in a bush, but it doesn't seem so. Nope. More 
dogs. You know what? Let's go the other way. Well, no, he's right there. I'll just kill the dogs. Let's get the snipers back. You're not a sniper. I'm trying to spread my people out more because I keep getting a lot of them getting messed up by that uh, the surrounded or panicked effect. There we go. They shouldn't need to move. I love my snipers. 93%. Oh, went out of range. Come back. Please. Please. Thank you. Whoa, I heard a zombie person. Is it you? Oh, you're friendly. Ambushing going on. Ooh, that must have been a crit. You know, I can't believe my dog is still alive. I thought it would have died long ago. Alright, two good shots. You're a little bit close. Uh, hmm. I want to go for you, but you're probably just going to hit Angela in the back. Yeah, let's move back a little bit. Hmm. It's another case where a shotgun is not exactly great. I can hit the Waste Wolf, but I'll only hit my dog and two of my teammates, too. Energy weapon would probably be terrible against a wolf, because they don't really have armor. Or do they? Actually, no, it looks like it says two armor. Huh. Ooh, here we go. Energy weapons do more damage against heavier armor. If the target's armor is penetrated completely, the weapon does reduced damage. Ah. If the target's armor is not penetrated at all, the weapon will do bonus damage. I'm still not sure if... How, how is this going to work with the enemy having two armor? Does that mean this thing will push through three armor? Above, below. Is that saying if the armor threshold is above or below the enemy's armor? So if three is... I, I think that's it. Okay, so yeah, the armor threshold actually needs to be below the enemy, so that means that this thing, in terms of the armor threshold, is actually worse than the other energy weapon, because the other energy weapon has an armor threshold of two. Yeah, so if I wanted the below, then the enemy would have to have an armor of four, I think. Regardless, this is grab for the wolf. Let's try from here. Boom. Okay. Fulcher's cry. Don't aim down, please. Don't shoot the doggy. Okay, good. Get him, get him. Jesus Christ, Angela is so good. Especially with, especially with that beast of a weapon. Ah, I need more ammo. Oh, 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 oh. Mm -hmm. 
This guy certainly knows how to use protection. only a 1% chance of critical failure. Well, bound to happen at some point. Alright, are we good? You're not, like, standing on a landmine, are you? What the hell? It's a horned toad. Alright, before we talk to him, let's go check out these chests. Or this chest and then that ditch over there. Okay, it doesn't say it's booby trapped, but it probably is. So, Angela, why don't you open it? <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> Surprise! I don't know if you can booby trap something that you just dig up, but just in case, I'll move my other people away from her. Oh, uh, hi, he just walked up to us. Hmm. Fit Polaroid. Hello? Can we help you? Take a look at the Polaroid. It's not incriminating evidence by any chance, is it? Fade a Polaroid picture of a lush green forest. Okay. Hi. Eh. Uh. Are you an android? I have no idea what you're saying. I kind of feel like you're an android that's glitching out or something? Or maybe just speaking a language I don't know. That doesn't look like... Magnus Temen Exedit Avsis. Homo est devs. Is that Latin? Or is it just nonsense? We computer science him? No. Is he just gonna follow us? Have I picked up something that I can give him? Do you want a computer? No, I can't use it. Weird. This is a big rock, just saying. Uh, yeah. I suppose it is. He seems to be kind of following us. I wonder if he wants to be led out of here, or if he's just, like, keeping an eye on us, making sure we don't do something. Let's get our hands on some horny toads. Yeah, 
close enough. I was almost there. Oh, what the hell? There, there's zombie. Hey, zombie dude. <laughs> he literally sounds like a zombie. Like, what is up with that? We start combat and he goes, Bleh. Weirdo. Hmm. Angela's kind of right in the way. Let's move over slightly. Could use for a shotgun. What's her armor? Three. Yes, yeah, so energy weapon would still the energy weapon would still not be good against those. If they had an armor of four, then maybe. Hmm. Code of fire is actually not wide enough. All right, gotta choose one. <laughs> you seriously missed with your muzzle literally intersecting the creature you're shooting at. That is literally not physically possible. Alright, hold on, you gotta move first. Oh my god, Theodore! Fucking... Even this weird robot dude shoots literally through Yulia's head and doesn't hit her. Why can't you do the same, Theodore? You're supposed to be an example to everybody. You're the leader. Dude's friendly, he's following us around, helping us, but we can't talk to him. Pipe bomb. He's just gonna stay back there, apparently. We're almost at the extreme southeast of the map. Ooh, enemy. Junkies over here. These junkies seem to be trying to make a little junky town out here. Ooh, when they're not busy staring. Oh, wait. When they're not busy staring, period, glassy-eyed into the middle distance. Let's see how well you sling them guns, gunslingers. Oh, crap. <laughs> More zombies. Ooh, wow. Ooh. Okay, that's bad. Oh, where'd you come from? Snuck up behind me. Okay, I'm thinking I probably should not take a shot at you. Because I have my people lined up in front of her gun like bowling pins. Oh. 
Boom. Beautiful. Sharpshooter. We got a snipper here. A couple snippers. Ah, to throw a grenade in the middle of them would be a beautiful thing. But these guys aren't tough. No reason to waste explosives on them. Alright, I can only get one shot with you, so I might as well move you into cover first, I suppose. It's pretty shitty cover. Well, this is kind of awkward. Uh, shoot. Great, she lost control and did nothing but hide. Get him! Or, or not. Shoot him! Nice. Alright, I want you to die. Goodbye. And you too. Angela Death lives up to her name. Watch your shot, Harper. Watch your shot. Thank you. A couple sharpshooters. Ooh, 24. Oh, God. You know, I think I need to protect this guy, actually, because he really doesn't have many hit points. He's got a fair amount of armor, though. Alright, they're too far away. Gotta move up. Uh, let's see if we can get a shot from here. No, they're not. Well, you're in cover. You're not. You're not going to be able to get a shot off unless I move you here. And then you might shoot our friend here and turn him into an enemy. A frenemy. I don't trust your... I don't trust your hands, Theodore. I don't trust your hands to give you a steady shot. Uh, I'm just going to move you here. We get a shot from here. That's terrible. Nope. All right. Move there for next turn. <laughs> Try the same with you. Not sure if your weapon has a longer range. I think it might. It does. really does not have many movement points. Let's see if I can get a shot off on him here. Yes, not a very good chance, but maybe I can destroy his cover. Nice. Theodore has leveled up. Congratulations. Okay. Hmm. I wasn't going to focus on his on his weapon skills, so let's continue to not do that. He's not really a combat character. More of a utility person. Haven't had much use for kiss ass, but if it comes in handy, then it's going to really come in handy. Field medic. Eh, haven't had to use surgeon. Let's go to another level of kiss ass. And then after that, probably leadership. Give everybody a nice aim boost. Cracked syringe. Ew! Why would I want a human hand? It's gross.
Oh. Has he turned into a... store? Is that what the symbol means? Hold on, let's take a look around first. A couple more things to loot. Hmm, oh. They had the good sniper rifles and some nice ammo. Alright, let's go into Helen. Sniper rifle can go to a Vulture's Cry. Another one, sweet. Alright, doesn't say it's trapped, but it probably is. Save, move everyone away, use Angela. Surprise! I think that means I need better perception skill on Helen. very bad chances. She doesn't have any spare skill points, does she? Nope. 35% chance of critical failure. Then again, am I ever going to come back here? Not really. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Oh, that's the worst that could happen. Let's try to repair it. What's the worst that could happen? Try it again. <laughs> Repair it again. <laughs> Wait, can I not repair it again? Impossible. I guess you can't keep repairing it. Alrighty then. Can't seem to talk to him. What does that symbol mean? It's like a person and an arrow. Why can't I talk to you? Hold on, I need to do something. Where did that thing go? I know it's here. I have an explosive somewhere. Other than grenades. It's a weaker explosive. Where did it go? There it is. Pipe bomb. Fuck you! Polaroids. Have to equip Vulture's Cry's... Vulture... Vulture's Cry's new weapon. And it is the same one that Helen has, right? Yes. Yeah, I need to start selling my stuff, or just stripping my weapons for parts, because I'm getting really loaded down with loot. Alright, let's take a look at these Polaroids. Are they of the same... Yeah, more Polaroids of a lush green forest. Three of them. That's just weird. Continuing to follow us for some reason. Wait, where are you going? Are you, like, leading me somewhere? Uh, 
Okay, finally somebody spotted the trap. <laughs> Amigo hat. <laughs> Wonderful, just what I wanted. Let's put that thing on, see what it looks like at least. Oh my god. Nope. Can't cover up that beautiful hair. Get a nice V here. There we go. Probably should have healed yeah. Yulia before starting combat. See, this man feels my pain. Or android, whatever you are. The weapon jam. The curse of the ranger. Anybody in your way? Yulia, Yulia kind of is, and if you hit her, she is dead. Uh, I trust in your shot. Well, could have been worse. It's almost a really good situation for a shotgun, but not too much collateral. Let's go for you. Just run away, Theodore, before you kill one of your own people. He actually did something good for once in his life. Waste ammo on you now. Okay, we've almost looped back around to the beginning. Medical supplies to partially undo all the damage you took from exploding traps everywhere. Crucifix? Well, that's gotta go to Theodore. There you go. And this is either a crucifix or... or A the letter T, depending on how you look at it. That thing's half a pound. Alright, uh, you're safe. Yep, went all the way around, uh, nowhere else to go there. Yeah, I think that's it. Alright, is he gonna continue to fall? I thought we were back here. This is the place where I undid everything. This is not the place. Thankfully, Theodore is not one of the ones that went down. <laughs> Ow. And somehow the dog is still alive.
don't really want to waste any medkits. I want to try to find a doctor. Because, like, everybody needs to be healed except Theodore himself. And I don't think we're going to fight any more enemies anytime soon. Alright, is the dude still following? Yep. So if you go through there without, like... What if you only disarmed half of these? You know, like the ones on the right and then went just on the right, so your people were fine, and then would he follow you through and just set them off and die? Still can't talk to him. Alright, come on, it's safe. following us. What do I do with him? I have no idea what to do with him. Just following me around like a lost dog. Should I take him to somebody? Will they follow me indoors? Into the meeting hall, maybe? Let's try. Hello, engineer. An irascible old fellow with an engineer's cap over his braids and a rusty whistle hanging from a circlet of wolf fangs he wears around his neck. Come to see what real men do for a living? Or are you still pretending you can help us solve all our problems? Alright, we're off to a good start. What do you mean, pretending? A lot of rangers have come here. A lot of rangers have said they could... Get the Topekans and those asshole Atchisons a kiss and make up. A lot of rangers failed. So you're on the Topekan side? <laughs> it's kind of a dumb question. If he wasn't, why would he be here? Yes, sir. The Topekans have always ruled the rails, no matter what those lying Atchisons might tell you. Why would John Henry have given us the Golden Spike if it wasn't our destiny to lead? Who is John Henry? The god of all railway men. I sing his song every time I start old 97's engine. What's old 97? That's my baby. This train right here. I love her more than my people. Or more than people. Hmm. Alright, tell me about the train. This here train was the fastest engine on the Santa Fe line. Till them damn Atchison's broke her, uh, stole her brake shoe. Now she don't go nowhere. And we're going broke because of it. Oh, right, they used it for trade. Yeah, that's probably where they're going broke. But uh, I'll ask anyway, what's the train got to do with you going broke? M moving freight. Mm -hmm. how, how important is the brake shoe? Kind of important. No stopping her, and we've wrecked one train already. Uh-huh. You had a train wreck, that'd be the one where... Uh, Kekaba lost his arm, right? The Etchison smashed up the railways out of town, derailed engine number 9. They say her brakes failed on the curve, but that's a dirty lie. I maintain those brakes myself. Tell me about the Golden Spike. That's our crown and scepter rolled into one. Our proof of our right to rule. John Henry himself gave us that spike. Kekaba keeps it locked up in the meeting hall. You should have a look. Tell me about the Atchisons. I know you love them. We've been feuding with those good-for-nothings for as long as I can remember. First, they wreck one of our trains. And now that psycho Casey James has gone up and stole the brake shoe from the other one. Not to mention blowing us all up every chance he gets. 
Their camp is in the desert, out beyond the Rail Thieves' hideout, if you feel like changing that situation. I just might. Tell me about Casey James. The mighty Casey is the leader of the Atchinsons. Used to be their foreman, laying the rails, keeping him safe. Now all he does is destroy things. Goddamn terrorist is what he is. Kick about to string him up with all the other Atchinsons we've caught. String him up? You haven't seen all our trophies hanging from the gate? Every one of the Atchinsons... Every time one of the Atchinsons blows something up, we catch one and lynch, a, lynch him. Teach those ditch diggers a goddamn lesson. Ew. Lynching. Yeah, that's... That's justice right there. Alright, who are the rail thieves? Those thieving fucks are getting in the way of our fight with the Atchitsons. They got a hideout just beyond our gates. And every time we go out to get a little payback on the Atchitsons, the damn rail thieves jump our shit. Annoying is what it is. If the rangers was to take care of them, it would make this whole feud so much easier. Uh, what do you do for a living, person whose name is literally Engineer? I'm the engineer of this train. I keep her running and I keep her moving. And that's the kind of work real men do. How do you keep her running? Well now, when the train needs water or oil or fuel, I feed her. When she breaks down, I fix her. At least I do most of the time. But now that those bastard Atchitsons have stolen her brake shoe, all I can do is sit here and polish her brass. You keep the train moving, too? If the train is fixed and ready, then I'm the one who drives her. I take her out on the rails and visit all our stations. Of course, the Atchitsons are making that difficult, too. Difficult how? Well, it used to be the Atchitsons took care of the rails like we took care of the trains. But then they got uppity and started sabotaging the lines instead of fixing them. Now, if I get that brake shoe, old 97 needs, there won't be many places for her to go. We either gotta beat those Atchitsons until they start working again, or start repairing the rail ourselves. And I don't fancy that. But that ain't work for Topekans. Alright, well, is there something I can do? Now, forget peace. That won't happen. And Master Kekaba says we shouldn't ask for help in taking care of our internal affairs. But if you could chase off those rail thieves, or convince the Atchitsons to give back that brake shoe, you'd really start changing my mind about Rangers. Who is Kekaba? I already know. Let's see. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Okay, well, taking care of the rail thieves is certainly something I can do. There's no gray area there. They are bastards. As for the Atchitons, though, uh, we'll see. I kind of want to hear the other side of the story before I make any judgments. Alright, is that dude still following us? He is. Like, he must have something to do with the armor, right? I can't remember who was talking to me at the end of the last episode that mentioned something about the armor. Saying something like, I don't have the damn armor, or something like that. Was that him? Doesn't even seem to speak English. I guess it can't be. I'm also keeping an eye out for any swings because of that note that I read a while ago. Maybe I should take this guy back to the dude's house that first mentioned the armor? Maybe. Let's go to the town hall and see if Kekaba has anything to say about him. Oh no, he won't even follow us. Okay, well, let's at least take a look at the Golden Spike. Yep, another visit. See if we have anything new to talk about. Hmm. Alright, let's tell him about the drug dealer that wants me to get him his radioactive shrooms. There's a drug lab in... In one... There, there's a drug lab in one in abandoned rail cars... What? I'm gonna read that again. There's a drug lab in one an abandoned rail cars <clears throat> on the edge of town. Thank you, Rangers, but we'll take care of this on our own. 
Fair enough. Choppers, we have a drug dealer in one of the abandoned rail cars. You know what to do. I've probably just consigned that dude to a horrible fate. Why do they call themselves rail thieves when there's no trains to rob? They don't rob trains. They steal rails and sell them for scrap. Now they hover above us like buzzards, waiting for us and the Atchinsons to kill each other so they can swoop in our, and scrap our train cars and our locomotive. Filthy scavengers. Uh, I don't think there's any reason to say this, but just in case it leads somewhere. Uh, threats. I already know about the threats. Um, <laughs> it's a great inconvenience. Would you like us to get rid of... to rid you of this inconvenience? Now that is the true spirit of the Desert Rangers. Protecting the wastes from lawless scum. Not telling law-abiding citizens how to solve their problems. Thank you, Rangers. I would welcome your help in this matter. Keep out of our business, Rangers. Uh, didn't you just say you want us to help? I would welcome your help in this matter. Keep out of our business, Rangers. <laughs> I'm getting mixed messages here. Die, coward. What the f... Who's that person talking to? Wait, did I just see some dialogue from the choppers that went after the drug dude? I, I guess we have very good ears if we could hear that from outside the building and hundreds, like, a mile away. Anyway, updated our quest. Master Kekaba, leader of the Topekans, asked us to stay out of his conflict with the Atchinsons. He didn't even want us to retrieve his brake shoe for him, though he may change his tune if we actually find it. Wait, was that updated? I don't think that updated. Oh, whoa, can you add... you can add notes? You can. Cool. That's neat. I wonder if that's been in there the entire time and I didn't notice it, or if they added that in a patch. I've, lost tra I've totally lost track of what the hell's going on in my quest log. Alright, where's this golden spike? I want to get a look at this thing. Oh, is that it? <laughs> that's it? It's just a tiny little spike. Let's see if I can go there without everybody freaking out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Okay. Look at that lighting. It's going crazy. So we can't even just have a look at it? Just just a look? Okay. The dude's still chilling out here? Yeah, there he is. I guess that symbol just means he's following us, right? A person plus an arrow, I guess, means he's following. I guess. Alright, the only thing I can think of is just to go over to where that guy mentioned the armor, his abode. Which was... Where? It was around here, wasn't it? No, it's near all those notes. Where are those notes? Further on down? No, it could have been this far. No, 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 this isn't the right spot. Wait, what did that say? The phrase, stay gold, pony boy, has been carved into the dust here. Is there a bomb on that bike? What the hell's going on here? This tire swing looks more like a death trap. It's not much of a playground. A busted swing set with a bicycle leaning against it. And the wastes for a sandbox. You notice a coffee can full of gunpowder underneath the bicycle and it's rigged to explode. Yeah, a bomb in a playground. It's kind of fucked up. Alright.
The bomb's fuse has been completely disarmed. The question is, who made it? Well, we know the Atchisons like to use explosives. It could have been them. That's some fucked up sabotage, though. Putting a bomb next to a playground on a bike? Like, that could easily be a kid's. In fact, it probably was a kid's. I don't know. Oh, here, yeah. Here's the... The uh, guy's place that mentioned the armor. All these notes. Oh god, it's gonna take a while to get here. Alright, here we are, the guy's railcar. See if something happens with the Provost. Lou? Feeling talkative? No? You wanna join us inside? No? Yes? Oh no, you did come inside, didn't you? Ooh, and you didn't come inside the meeting hall, so is this a special place, or...? Still can't talk to him. Codex. There's so much written about the Verchitan, Verchitan armor that it has to be real. Oh yeah, and that's the one that's written in what seems like nonsense. Wadpri Rashi Karna Das. Still can't talk to him. I mean, he said a couple things to me early on, but they didn't make any sense, and now he just won't talk. Huh. It's weird. I want to see if that's a special place. Like, will he follow us into other places, too? No. Yeah, so that's what I thought. He was related to the Verchitten armor. Verchitten armor, however you pronounce it. Because somebody said something about that armor when I got over there. And he'll follow me inside of the building, but... I still can't talk to him. I don't know what to do with him. What do you need? Huh. Interesting. Got a bit of a mystery on our hands. Well, I'll have a think about that. Take a look at my inventory, see if there's something I can give him or something. I don't know. I'll have a think about that. And in the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.